Hey everybody, so, okay, I gotta pray. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would give me the utterance to say what it is that you want me to say. I got emotions within me because I'm human and because of what I just went through, but I decree and I declare that I am not subject to my emotions right now, and I decree and declare that the words of God shall come out of my mouth, not by my might or power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. My God, I pray that this would reach the people who you want it to reach. And I pray and decree and declare that this will be a rhema word. God, do whatever it is you want to do and get us in place and spare us from things that the enemy has in store. Not my will, but yours be done. I cancel the plans of the enemy. Like right now, attacking the minds, attacking the bodies of the children of God right now, attacking the destinies. I cancel it today, right now, in the name of Jesus. And I decree and I declare that out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. In Jesus' name, amen. I went forceful with that because recently some people have beef with how I be talking with God and that's just not going to happen. I'm not going to change for people. I'll change for Jesus only. And if he ain't got a problem with me speaking in multiple voices, that's what is going to be done. And that's period. Okay. So next thing, uh, the video that I made recently, part one or part two, I think it was part two of the ghosting, the person who left you, who God had taken away from your lives. Um, one of the things that I said was that some of you guys are going to go into it and it's going to be, there may be warfare at the beginning of it and it's going to be shocking. Um, that came from a dream that the Lord gave me and I was seeking him about that word and he had given me strict instructions saying I should give a word about laughter in the church and then about this whole ghosting concept. And as I do another video regarding this topic, I'm just going to break down some things that have me, have been um, unclear for some people. And not by my might or power, but by the spirit of the Lord. But I'm making this video as an urgency within my spirit from the Lord to forewarn you that you need to be guarded. You need to resist the enemy and he will flee from you. Some of you, the promise is you're at the brink of it, okay? Things are happening behind the scenes, and the enemy is trying to come into your mind. The enemy is trying to send Jezebel people, false prophetic words, false prophetic people into your life and getting you thrown off course. I'm not saying this just because it happened to me. God told me and showed me in the dream. It happened to me. And it hits differently when God says something is going to happen, but then it does actually happen for you. It's like it's just confirmation that God wants you to be warned, forewarned about what can take place. So some of you guys may be experiencing a great level of doubt. Some of you guys may be feeling as if, oh my gosh, I've been delusional all this time. But the devil is a liar and he will always be a liar. Okay, so be careful with what you allow to fester in your mind and what comes out of your mouth, the company that you keep, the words of the promise that you're speaking with other people because not everybody is going to be happy for you. Some people will start out that way, but then their spirit changes quickly. Some people will appear to be happy for you, but they're speaking a double-minded message to you and they're manipulating you. And recently, I just realized that somebody was trying to get in my head because they wanted to be with me. What? He doesn't even kind of look like my, like, Adam. But I was thrown off for a quick second, but it didn't last a full day. But it, I, th I was thrown off for a few hours. And if there is confusion in your spirit concerning the promise that God gave you, understand and be reminded that God is not a God of confusion. Stand your ground. Be silent when you need to be. Rejoice when you need to rejoice, rejoice in all things, give thanks always and pray without ceasing. And right now, as some of you know that your promise is coming before the end of this year, as God has told me, I am going to tell you to fast and pray, fast and pray, 
fast and pray in the name of Jesus. You can just fast and you ain't praying, not going to work. You could just pray and not fast, not going to resist the devils that are rising up in the way that they are because some devils, some demons cannot be cast out unless you are fasting and praying. And if your promise is one that is kingdom shaking through your marriage, as they all are, you know, the devil don't want you married, but especially like you young people, I'm telling you, the enemy is trying to come for you, but do not be thrown off course. Do, do not be thrown off. If you know within the depths of your being and it doesn't wrestle with your spirit that God has said somebody is yours and you've been seeing it in dreams, you've been getting your confirmation he has not risen up against you to say no. He's been saying yes all along, but then all of a sudden it feels like no, just because it's about to happen. No, do not receive it. And I rebuke the devourer right now. I rebuke the deception of the enemy trying to rise up against the sons and daughters of God in the name of Jesus. Oh my gosh. In the name of Jesus, my God, help us to be guard, guard us right now. Send a hedge of protection around us right now. I break the yoke that the enemy tried to put upon our necks. I rebuke it today in the name of Jesus. My friends, I pray that this was a word of encouragement. Keep holding fast to the promise and do not let go. Do, wage war for the prophecy. Wage war for it. Okay? What God has put together, no man can put asunder. No man. And not even no devil is going to put it asunder. No devil and no man is going to rob you of your promise. So stand on guard. And after you've done all you can, you stand. All right? Don't let nobody enter into your garden. Be careful and be wise and be vigilant and be sober. Those of you who are like, no, warfare ain't coming. Warfare ain't going to be in my marriage or even at the beginning of it. Okay, if that's not your portion, I didn't say that was everyone's portion, okay? But I'm saying that there it is. Some people are going to deal with that at the beginning of it. And I'm going to tell you that in the book of Esther, there was warfare with Esther and Xerxes, Right? There was warfare. There were a mass amount of people who were about to die. And it was not smooth sailing in the beginning of what God ordained between the two of them. And if you understand that your union is going to be shaking the, king, the pits of hell and, you know, it's just going to be tearing down strongholds and doing amazing and awesome things, do not think that the enemy is not going to come for you. Do not be ignorant of the devil's vices. Okay? So yeah, there may be a little bit of a wrestle, but you will not be overtaken by it, okay? And don't be led by your emotions, but be led by the Spirit. In Jesus' name. Your promise still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your faithfulness. I love you guys so much. Okay, my name is Crystal Nicole, and that'll be changing soon in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, email me um, if you've been led to sew, whatever, a gift. My information is there, okay? Emails, guys, I am, a lot is going on, so I can't be swift with it, but I'm coming. All right, I love you guys. Bye.